this is carrying on from the, the last little episode we did about using the mycorrhiza fungi on the pot leaves. If you remember last time, <coughs> the trial I'm doing is with a, a good multi purpose compost. Two pot leaves, plus I'm using my own compost in this one here. As you can see, the, the roots are coming out the bottom of both pots. Um, good multi purpose and mine. They've both got uh, 13 flags on each, which are the leaves. And what we're going to do, I've made a mould here. This is the multi purpose compost. In fact, I'll take him out now. I've made the hole ready for him to go in. So that's one of the better known and uh, my own garden compost, homemade. That's ready for my stuff to go in. So uh, we'll get them both out and have a look at the roots. We'll do a other one first, which is the multi-purpose. Nice roots on the bottom. Just started going round. I'm just going to ease them up a bit so they don't get going round when they go into the next pot. Nice white roots. That's what I'm looking for. He should go in nicely now. Now we've made a nice little mound for him. As you put him in, firm him in, straighten him up. I'll bump some more compost in him in a bit. Give him, give him a good way to him. Right now for the next one. This is my compost, obviously. He's a bit dry. Not too bad. Of course, see if there's any hyphy roots on there. That's what I wanted to see with the mycorrhizal fungi working, working away. But we are a bit early because Ben is taking the film. He's flying off tomorrow. So we've got no choice, I've got to do the filming today. But uh, nice white roots, that tells me he's doing well. And I'll top him up and wear to him as well. So my trial's still going well. He is just slightly thicker than mine. But... Uh, my compost is working, which is uh, all I wanted to know. What else we got in here? Mm. Want a quick perm up here, then. <coughs> I'm talking at a uh, BBC Gardens World Live this year. I'm on the the stand with the National Vet Society Midland Branch. We're going to get the kids involved again. What we did um, a couple of years ago at Malvern, we did trays of seedlings. And we, we let the kids pick their own out. I could prick their own out, put it into a plastic drinking cup, pot it on the sofa and take it away with them. So I've done uh, two trays of chilli, chilli peppers, and uh, there's two trays of tomato plants. There's another one just germinating underneath. But these are from uh, Mole's seeds. They give me the seeds, because they're good eggs. So that's for that lot, <coughs> that's a four day event, I'm hoping that lot will last the four days, it did last time we got away with it. Chilli peppers, as you can see, uh, bone dry, which they're going to be, when they start going limp, exactly the same as with tomatoes, then that's telling me they want to drink. And as you can see down in there, you'll see the compost is dry as a bone. This is what I saved last year, Jigsaw this is. But uh, he is slowly telling me he needs a drink. Leaves are starting to curl up and wilt slightly, so I might give him a feed tomorrow. That's a better black, Betty Black I had for uh, the heavyweight class. I had him off um, Phil Goldsmith, Goldborough up north, when I did a talk up there. There's a couple of brains let me down. These are all spares for our bring and boy. 
<coughs> Julius has got them intermediates. Give it a, a good one. And my tomatoes this year, I'm doing Shirley. And the Chinese Montella. But you can see these are dry as a bone as well. But I'm still standing upright. So I'm going to wait till they wilt before they're going to drop away. Have a quick nose outside while I'm here. Oh, I'll have a perv in here. This is my me, uh, me Blanche Leaks. <coughs> I found this stuff at Wilco. Wilco was flogging his strips of Velcro. I went up um, Dave Goodwin's Chesterfield. And he was using this. And he, he got me onto it. I used to use the wire tyres before, but it's less bloody hassle using them. Them are ideal. Look at that road there. These are me uh, intermediate blanche. These have got collars on now, builders damp course, and them are just 10 inches. And that's the maximum they will get. Because it is an intermediate blanche. So you should get a bit good bit of meat on them. I focused a bloody frost again tonight. Right in the tunnel. <coughs> All my pot leaks are out. There's two Cumbrian here, two Betty Blacks. And down the end, there's another three Cumbrian, which I've had off her uh, Alf, my mate. Onions that I'm in, Dirty Crow, four of his, Billy Lamb, and uh, a sticky onion. Where I'm trawling them and all. Then we're off John Brennan. Them intermediate. That was a good size when he gave him me. He's a good egg. In this one I got me heavy uh, Peter Glazebrooks. I've just put a, a bit of string around him to persuade him to keep him nice and upright. You keep him upright, you get a good shape on you. I'm trying to get some more of these. I should have got Alf to get me some down there. Morgan Spring Show. Andrew Jones, he showed these last year at Morven and the shape of the onions was superb and uh, luckily I managed to get some seed of him. Another three up here. Another three off Peter Glazebrooks, the heavies. You can tell them are uh, growing well because every couple of days I have to cut round, take some more plastic off and tuck the old leaves in. lots up this end <coughs> I had two good bloody eye wire these two that was pulled out by a bloody squirrel or something so I'll put a pepper in the end one but these have been split down to the cross as you can see that way you get less dense if you've got four on if you're just gonna eat them just let them go right these are for show Chinky bugger. So I just need four on. He's got five on. But he's the one that was lifted. He got, he got no weight on him. So I'm going to leave him. Hang him at all. He's got four on him at all. <coughs> Running out of weight again. I filled him up two days ago. Nearly run out with the rain water. I'm going to fill it with tap water then uh, two capfuls of Jay's fluid go in as well. That's to kill all the crap out, out there, tap water. Oh, it's green cold. Right, that's about it, man. That's it. Hope you have learned some of it. See you next time. Ta-da.